If you are interested in studying in Germany in 2022 for free, then you have to stay up to the very end of this video to know if you can actually study in Germany in 2022 for free. Okay? Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel and thank you so much for joining today. If you are new to this YouTube channel, thank you so much for stopping by. If you didn't know, my name is Milton Fonkwa and I'm also called Anointed Village Boy. If you have interest in studying in Germany in 2022, if you are looking for a free university to study in Germany, if you have been thinking where you can study for free, Germany is a place you can consider and I urge you Oh, I know this video is going to be very important to you. So please, all you can do for me to like this video, all right, and subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you get more notification in the days ahead. Now, today's video is about studies in Germany in 2022, like I said before, and I will be taking you to some of the tips you should know because a lot of things have changed in the past as compared to 2021, all right? So Germany is now looking for workers skilled workers all right and on this youtube channel i do talk about travel opportunities visas immigration and everything about studies abroad all right so stay tuned and keep watching now germany is one of those countries in europe which is highly industrialized and a lot of international students take degree programs in germany not just because of the highly rated universities that germany has but also because of the free nature of the schools. No tuition fee. All you need to pay in most German universities is just a semester fee or probably a departmental fee, all right? I know of 75 German universities that are actually tuition free. Now, but for you to study in Germany for free tuition or for free, you need to understand that there are certain things that you need to put into consideration. One, you need to check which university you need to apply to, which I'm going to give you some few tips here. You need to also know if you will be using a blocked account or an affidavit of support after you get your admissions letter. You also need to know if you are getting a sponsorship letter or whichsoever letter or affidavit like i said before and you also need to know if you are applying for a school or you are applying for a scholarship because all of this is going to help you enough now remember i said you are going to be studying for free now germany is one of the only countries left in europe alongside norway where you can actually study in at least 75 percent of their universities for free all right so what you need to do now is to check which university actually offers free tuition which is very simple to do that is either you go to the link in the video description box that i will put and that link is the link to a website called daad which is the german academic website where most of their universities and programs are put there all right and you can from there apply for a program in case you check and find one or you check individual universities in germany to know if they actually offer tuition free programs all right examples of tuition free universities include the technical university of munich all right uh, the Dagendorf institute of technology you have the mining university of freiburg you have the university of hamburg and so many of them, all right, so many schools in Berlin, so many schools in Freiburg, so many schools in Munich, and so on, all right. So as soon as you have identified a university that is tuition free, all right, you can then go ahead and apply for the university. But before you apply, again, you need to check departmental requirements. You also need to check academic requirements or program requirements, all right, because it's very, very necessary. Now, when you apply, know that you will be needing a document. Since you are studying for free, there are documents that you need, all right? And I will start with the very first one, which is a blocked account. I have done videos before, or I have filmed videos in the past about blocked accounts and also affidavit of support or a sponsorship letter, which is not really a sponsorship letter, but an affidavit, all right? So I will be talking about the blocked account. The blocked account here now is an account you are going to create in a bank in Germany 
that is the law it must be in germany the account must be in germany you create that account with a certain bank called fit bank all right when the account details are available like the swift code and the iban and the bank account you then transfer the money in that bank account all right and the money that the german authorities always want from international students to transfer into that bank account is 10236 euros that the international student would be taking care of herself her studies her transportation her accommodation using this money all right because you are studying for free so they will be giving you a certain proportion of the money each month which is 800 and so the account or let me say the money in the blocked account is 10236 euros each ever each month or every month you will be receiving 853 euros to spend it on your accommodation or your expenses all right while living in germany the money will not be given back to you at once when you open an account in germany it can be transferred to your own account but the policy is that you must receive only 853 euros every month all right so do not think that if you borrow the money from somewhere you are going to get it back all i hope you understand that is for the blocked account and that is the document you need to prove to the embassy that you have money to apply for a visa a student visa which is the national visa to move to germany i hope you get the point now you are either using the blocked account or you are using the second document that i will talk about right now which is the affidavit of support the affidavit of support is a document or a paper signed written and signed or with a paper with some stuff signed by someone living and working in germany to show that he or she is going to take care of your expenses when you are studying in germany i hope you understand so this is a document you are going to use for visa application or you are going to use the blocked account all right i hope you get the point now it's either you use this document someone asked me last time that what if someone is not living in germany so for now the person signing for now the person who is going to sign the affidavit of support for you to use for your visa application must be living in germany all right so that is what you should understand that is the affidavit of support or the blocked account are the documents to prove that you have finance or backup to take care of your studies while you live in germany i hope you understand now these are the documents in case you have an admissions and you are applying for a visa all right the other document i want to talk about is a scholarship application all right or a scholarship form or let me put it that you have a scholarship in case you have a scholarship now you are not going to be needing the affidavit of support you are not going to be needing the blocked account but let me explain more so that you understand it is possible for you to get a scholarship not just any type of scholarship in germany all right you need a fully funded scholarship to apply for a visa a national visa to germany without showing proof of funds i hope you get the point now how do you apply for the scholarship well for you to apply for the scholarship you can still go to daad which is the dart website all right you find programs there which have scholarships or fully funded scholarships and you apply for all right understand again that for you to apply for schools in germany it is going to take a lot of time scholarship needs a lot of time all right admissions need a lot of time now there are various platforms all right or let me say there are admissions that you can do in germany or if you want to apply for schools in germany you can either use a platform like uni assist to apply for schools in germany or you use the university site for example if you are using uni assist all right uni assist is just a website put in place or let me say a platform put in place where admissions uh, requirements are assessed all right in germany the headquarters is in berlin all right then if you are documents go through uni assist what basically happens is you go to uni assist you create an account you check a university you check the programs open all right if you read the requirements and you meet the requirements you submit your application but note that you have an application fee payment to make of 75 euros for one program all right if you want to add another program in 
a different university or the same university or a different university let me put it this way you are going to pay extra 30 euros all right then if you are applying for the same program in the same university is the same amount of money all right note that that is how much you are going to use or spend for unit assist now if you find a program or let me say if you go through because there are some universities that you can apply directly with their website they are not let me say their own programs are not found in uni assist all right in that case you can apply for them outside but know that such universities will either have an application fee or they may not have an application fee all right not all schools that are found outside of uni assist don't have applications fee some will have some will not have so know the difference for uni assist as well you need to upload your documents and you wait but some universities outside of uni assist you may need to send hard copies to them all right or legalized copies to them to know which one um, so that they can know if they are true copies of your documents some universities will still ask you to send legalized copies from the german embassy some will ask you to just send certified copies so you have to know these differences all right now remember i said some cities in germany are more expensive than others so know the difference i hope you get the point so if you intend to study in Germany in 2022 for free, it is very possible, all right? All you need to do is to check the programs available, look for a university, all right? Read the requirements. Again, HND students know that it will be impossible for you to get a master's degree in Germany using an HND. I'm talking now based on some few Nigerians that were asking me uh, some few days ago. Someone again also asked me if he can borrow the money for blocked account put in the account then when he reached germany he can withdraw and give back if you ask me i will say if you get somebody a trustworthy somebody borrow the money from the person put in the account when you go to germany you withdraw each month all right of course you are going to be withdrawing 853 euros that is huge sum of money you cannot use all of that maximum you can use if you can manage you can spend maximum 350 euros for everything a month all right if you can manage but if you are someone who spend extravagantly you cannot use that so if you see someone to borrow borrow and put then when you reach germany you guys begin to sort it out i hope it is clear i have talked about the cost of moving to germany or what you need to understand let's look into the funding now for those candidates or for phd students know that in germany you if you are studying phd you would be getting paid you are getting a salary or let me say phd in germany is like a job all right if you are a phd candidate in germany the company or the university or whichever company you are doing your uh, maybe your research or your, your, your thesis would be paying you as a phd candidate it's same thing in sweden and of course in most european countries as well all right it's not as if and if you get phg or let me say if you get an admission to study phg you do not need a blocked account or affidavit of support as well in as much as it is indicated on your admissions letter by your university or by the professor or by your supervisor that your phg is funded i hope you understand now i have talked about the course i have talked about the funding of studying in germany or some of the things you need to know again international students know that you can work in germany in fact germany is looking for level force of your age those of you applying for masters all right because remember most of the european countries nowadays their population is aging and the the, the, the power to work is no more there so they are actually looking for internationals who can work or if you graduate in germany as of now there was a, a, a law that recently came out that says that if you now have a degree in germany your degree will be rated alongside that of a german citizen or national there is no bias this time around all right so if you are qualified you are qualified and you get the job now moving further talking about the documents you are going to be using to apply for a bachelor's a master's or a phd program first of all i will talk about the basic documents that are at other certificate or other documents that you may need First, the basic documents to get a bachelor's degree is your YX certificate, all right? Your ordinary level certificate, your advanced level certificate, your WSE certificate, or whichever document that you got from high school. Basics, all right? Make sure your IELTS score is straight on to the core. 6.5 or 6 should be the minimum, all right, if you must get an admission using IELTS in Germany. Some few schools may take 5.5, but I don't think 
most schools will take 5.5 it's better you score six and above why not score nine on nine all right so know that your height is very important notwithstanding there are some universities that will accept your application without the height exam i hope you get the point now for masters or oh, let me say i already talked about the wayek for bachelors for masters you need your bachelor's certificate and the transcript transcript will show the courses you have studied all right to make it easy for them to assess you as well your diploma is very important alongside your high school document being it O and advanced level or your WIAC certificate for PhD high school documents bachelor's certificate and transcript master's certificate and transcript and of course you apply for the programs remember for BSc, you may write a motivation letter, all right? The admissions board or maybe the program may want you to write a motivation letter. They may want you to provide references or reference letters, all right? Know that for masters, they may also equally want you to provide references or motivation letters or for you to write a motivation letter, sorry. And of course, provide your CV. For PhD, of course, you need a research proposal, probably a research proposal or a topic, or you may write um, something to show to the supervisors or the team first what your research plan is like, all right? Something like that. Again, you may need a CV or reference letters and, of course, a motivation letter. These are the documents you need to add to all of this. Remember, I said not all universities will, will accept your files or will process your files without an application fee payment. Some will charge the application fee, especially those schools of uni assist. Others will not charge an application fee. So it all depends on which one you go in for, all right? Know that not all the cities in Germany are easy to live in. Some cities are expensive like Hamburg, Frankfurt, and the bigger cities, they are expensive to stay in Munich, all right? Places like Berlin and the other remote areas are cheap to stay in. I hope you understand. I have always said this on this YouTube channel, so please, Understand that and make sure you strategize well before you apply for schools in Germany. You can study in Germany for free, guys. What are you waiting for? If you have that block money, put it. If you have a fee, David, oh yeah, go for it. No time to waste time, all right? Thank you so much for watching this video. Until we meet again in another one.